All right, welcome back to this session. So um, in this session, we're discussing division of um, complex numbers. So like I said, uh, division of complex numbers involves um, what is known as a conjugate, which we learned in the previous session. So division of complex numbers, for instance, um, okay, let me first talk about, uh, let me just remind you, but a conjugate, which I believe is straightforward and most of you already know, about, already know about it. So when you have a complex number, Z is equal to A plus IB, its conjugate is found by simply just changing the sign in between. If you have a, if you have a plus there, you put a minus in between. If you have a minus, you put a plus in between. So that's a conjugate. So this is a part which requires you to utilize the, the, is the concept of the conjugate. Okay, so the numerator there is A plus BI, then the denominator is uh, six, uh, sorry, C plus DI. So now we're going to multiply this expression by something that I call a special one. It's a one in, um, okay, I'm going to explain why I call it a special one because um, this, yeah, so because this, um, okay. So we look at the denominator here. So the denominator we have is C plus DI. So we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So since the denominator is C plus GI, the conjugate of the denominator is simply just C minus DI. That is the conjugate of the denominator, okay. So let us now quickly um, do that. So the conjugate of the denominator is C minus DI. So the, the same, the same, um, the same uh, conjugate that we have multiplied with the denominator should also be multiplied uh, to the numerator. So I'm going to put C minus DI on top as well. So this is what you're going to have. So you have something that will look like this. So you have A plus BI times C minus DI. Everything divided by, we have C plus DI, then multiplying everything with C minus DI. So now, when you look at this part here, the reason why I was calling this a special one is because when you look at this part, when you divide this by that, the answer will be one. So that's the same as dividing two by two. The answer is one, you divide five by five. As long as what you're dividing is just the same, the answer is always one. So this one on top, the numerator there and the denominator there are the same. So when you divide them, that is just the same, the same as one. So this one times, um, times what we have this side, the answer will still be what you have there. This is, what, this is the reason why I'm calling this, this, um, this expression here as a special one, okay. So now let us multiply. Yeah, let us uh, see how uh, we simplify this expression. So now how do you do the simplification? So this is where a lot of people miss it. So whenever you are multiplying this on the numerator there, you always follow the normal way of um, expanding expressions or simplifying expressions. So you have a, a, this A here is multiplying with everything in the set of brackets there. So you have C minus DI. And then you have a positive bi there, positive bi multiplying with everything in the next set of brackets there, which is c plus, uh, rather c minus di. Then you are going to divide everything by, um, remember this part is the original complex number and we're multiplying it by its conjugate. Remember that property, which we said z uh, times its conjugate gives us what? a squared plus b squared. So if z has been given to be a plus or minus, a plus or minus bi, z times its conjugate gives you what? a squared plus b squared. So this is what we're also going to do here. We're going to apply it on this part because we know that this one is a complex number and this part is its conjugate. So this can also be written as c squared plus d squared. So this is exactly how you simplify this complex number. Let's look at an example. So I've explained all this. 
Let's look at these two examples here. So the first example that we have is this one here. So the first thing that we do with this complex number is we write uh, the same complex number, write it on top. We have the numerator there and the denominator is four, my, uh, four plus three i. So we're multiplying this by the conjugate of the denominator. So what is the conjugate of the denominator? Here we have a plus in between. We are going to put a minus there to find the conjugate. So we have something like this. So I'm going to write the division line there. Then we have four minus three i, because uh, since we have a plus there, the conjugate will have a minus in between. And then we have four again minus three i. So we have this being equal to, so on the numerator there, we're going to have two minus four i multiplying with four, um, sorry, multiplying with four minus three i. So this is what we have as the numerator. Then the denominator there, remember this is a, a complex number and then this one is its conjugate. So this is just the same as us writing four squared plus three squared there. So in other words, we say this is the multiplication of uh, two numbers with different um, signs in between. So sometimes you can also uh, say that, um, Okay, let me not mention this. I wanted to mention something, but let me not mention this because it will, it will end up confusing some people. All right, so, sorry for that. Oh, I don't know what is happening. Okay. All right, so this is what we have. So now let us simplify this. So multiplying the numerator there, like I said, you say two, times everything that is in the next set of brackets. So this two is multiplying with everything in the next set of brackets there. So you have four minus three i, and then you also have this negative four multiplying with this negative four i multiplying with everything in the next set of brackets there, which is four minus three i. And then we're dividing everything by, so what is four squared? Four squared is 16. Then we have plus three squared gives us what? Nine. So now it's just a matter of adding these two. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of adding these two, uh, these two values on the denominator. So the numerator there, we have two times four, the answer is eight. Then two times negative three, the answer is negative six i. Then we also have negative four i times four. The answer is negative 16 i. Then we have negative four i times negative three i. The answer is negative um, 12. Remember what we said, i times i gives us what? Negative one. This is according to complex numbers. So sometimes they don't use i. Uh, in, most in most cases they use i, but sometimes you might find in other books, there's j, still the same. Okay, so i times i will give us negative one times negative, positive times negative, negative. So this is why I've written negative 12 there. So let us now simplify this expression. So we put the like terms together, eight and negative 12, we write them here, we have eight and negative 12, then negative six and negative 16. When you add them, you get negative 22 i. So eight minus 12, the answer is negative four. So we have negative four minus 22 i as the solution. So it's very simple. This is how simple you, oh, sorry. I was, I've just written the numerator there. I've not um, included the denominator. So. I forgot to write the division line down. Okay, so before I even write this, remember we have 16 plus nine down, which is 25. Even here we have 25. So we're going to have something like this. Uh, when you add eight and negative uh, 12 there, the answer that you get is negative four. And then negative 22 I, this side. Then the denominator is 25. So this is the final solution. Yeah, so I forgot to write 25, which is the denominator there. So this is the final solution. Yeah, so this is the final solution for this expression. Okay, let's look at uh, the second example, which is part B. So part B, we have um, two over two minus i. 
So I'm multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So now what is the conjugate of the denominator? We have a minus in between there. So we're going to put a plus. So we have two plus i. So now, what do you do now to, um, to simplify this? So on top there, I'll have two times uh, two plus i. Then the denominator there gives us what? Remember, if you are multiplying these two values um, or rather, if you're multiplying a complex number with its conjugate, you simply just get the numbers that you have, meaning you have two squared, you square them, then you add the second number, which is the imaginary part, uh, you get the coefficient of i, and in this case, we have one, you also square it. So we have two times two there, the answer gives us four. Two times i, you get two i. Then the denominator there is two squared, the answer is four. And then one squared, the answer is what? One. So let us quickly see what we're going to get. So four, we have on the numerator, we have four plus two i, and then everything on the denominator gives us what? Four plus one, that's five. Yeah. Hence the solution is therefore going to be four over five plus two over five i. So as simple as that, there's nothing uh, difficult uh, on complex numbers. So this is the end of um, complex numbers. If you have any questions, feel free to con uh, rather feel free to ask before I can end the meeting. And then in the next session, we'll begin a new topic, which is functions. Yeah. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask right now before I end the meeting. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, just the last question of our last exercise. I'm um, still behind on that one. Where, where exactly? Our the last exercise you gave us last time. The last question. It was on what? Oh, can you remember it? I solve it right now. Oh no! Unless I get I I, I get a paper somewhere. Oh, you, okay, it was, a, it was on what? I teach a lot of students from different it, universities. It, it's complex numbers also. I sent it on your WhatsApp. Okay, let me check before I close. Let me check it. Yeah.